Wait, so. Thank you, gentlemen. Joined by Wild Turtle and Bjergsen after a solid victory there over Team Impulse. First thing I want to discuss is actually Wild Turtle. The pickup of Vane. We've only seen it on Otter here in NA, but we have seen it in the other regions. Why are uh, 80 carries extending their pool to Vane now? Uh, I think it's when you like pick. A, you want to pick Vane into a place where the lane is good for her, and if you're picking her into like a counter pick, it's like really strong because you get a free lane and you're really strong mid game, and you can basically one v one any AD carry. And that was our plan that game to have me split push. And yeah, that's why Vane is a popular pick right now. So Annie Vane, you were willing to take that into Sivir. Yeah, you're happy with that match. So we did see you guys go with that uh, invade, put the wards up in the top side. However, tip. Moved out of vision, recalled, went bot, and the lane swap uh, came through. How does that change the game plan then? Because as you said, is it now I need to accelerate and or get back into that 2v2? Or fine, I'm vain, I'll just farm. Um, basically, you want to hit a power spike first. And if, once you hit your power spike on vain, you just want to go against Sivir again. And then you just want to keep trying to 1v1 her and get her in a 1v1 position as much as possible. All right, and Birix, in the matchup we found you in LeBlanc versus Azir, we did see the casted in Hover. So I wanted to get your take on what would have been the better choice if you were on the flip side of this matchup, because you seem to handle the Azir quite easily. Um, I think this is really personal preference. Both champions work against LeBlanc. The Azir versus LeBlanc matchup is very volatile. It can really go either way depending on the players and depending on how much jungle pressure you're putting on that lane, because Azir will most of the time win the 1v1, but if there's a lot of jungle pressure, the chains on his ear, it's really hard for him to get away from the gank. So it is a very, it's a matchup that can definitely go either way. And I feel like he decided to pick the skill matchup rather than the really safe cast and pick. And as you mentioned, there was a little bit more focus put on the mid lane for TSM here. So that brings me to the jungle matchup. And although Santorin is not on the desk, what we spoke about before the game was the fact that Rush and Santorin have extra, extraordinarily different play styles, but they're very, both very good at what they do. So, you know, how do you feel Santorin dealt with the attempted pressure by Rush this game on his Lee Sin? Um, I actually think he, he dealt with it very well. Rek'Sai is just another really strong early game jungler like Lee Sin, so there's going to be a lot of small skirmishes, a lot of fights, but I didn't really feel like Rush was really seeking out these fights, at least not around my lane, and it wasn't successful anywhere else, so I wasn't really feeling the pressure he was putting out compared to Rek'Sai, and that's also why Lee Sin is such a risky pick, because if you don't get that early game advantage and you don't get those ganks off, he doesn't He's not nearly as strong later in the game. All right, and then you guys did establish a pretty decent lead early on, up to about 5, 6K through the mid-game. Wild Turtle, though, there was a bit of a stall out in the middle of the game. Is this uh, due to, you know, just respect given to the power and the potential of Team Impulse to climb back into it? Because we saw you have to wait for a Baron, have to wait for another Baron in order to really press into the base. Uh, I feel like we probably could have made that game a lot cleaner and just, uh, like, Force them in situations where they had to respond a lot more because we put down our wards, but we really didn't do anything with our wards. We just let them clear it, and then we were basically waiting around a lot instead of making aggressive plays. So I feel like we could have been more aggressive and doing stuff in their jungle a lot more. And talking about cleaning things up, I'm going to hit you with a big one here. After MSI, not having the performance that you guys wanted to have, I want to know what's different or what is going to be different this summer split as opposed to the spring split, which was touted as the split you guys were using to ramp up to international, international play. Bjergsen? Um, I think some of the things is, is we need to respect the way the other teams play and the way the other regions play because we were very set in stone with our own play style because it was working for us in scrims, even against the team at MSI, it was working for us in NA. So we had a very set play style that we thought was really good. And we felt like even though the other play styles were working for the other teams, it wasn't really something that we were going to enforce because ours was working so well. But I think we need to be a lot more respecting of the other teams' play styles, the other teams' picks, and see how they play. Because essentially, I think the way they played the game was better than ours. So does this mean that you're going to be looking for opportunities within this split to almost force different play styles in order to get practice with them? Um, it's something we started doing last split where... Obviously, a lot of people say we leave Dyrus and Island, but there are a lot of games where we're putting a lot more pressure on the Dyrus lane, even though people don't notice it. Even this game, we're looking to pressure top a lot more, and it shows Dyrus has a lot more impact in these games, and that's something a lot of the other teams were doing, especially teams like Fnatic. We're putting a ton of pressure on Hooney's lane, and it's something every team needs to be able to do to pressure all different lanes and have different play styles. All right, now moving into tomorrow's matchup, the big one, TSM versus CLG. Uh, Wild Turtle, they've brought Pobelter in here, and uh, so far things are looking pretty good with him on the LCS stage. How do you guys feel that uh, their team dynamic has changed and their potential has changed with Pobelter in the mix? Uh, I feel like uh, Link and Pobelter were pretty similar in play styles, and I think CLG has always been a strong team. They just seem to falter closing to the playoffs, but 
I honestly think they're the sh same strong COG and they have a the similar play style, and I still think they're the same COG. All right, well, you're going to be going up against Poe Belter in that mid lane there, Bjergsen. Thoughts on him and the addition to CLG? Uh, we've been scrimming against them a pretty good amount. Obviously not this week because we're playing them, but in the previous weeks we have been scrimming them a lot, and they are a really strong team, and Poe Belter is also a really good player. I feel like uh, he wasn't necessarily held back, but he kind of needed a team to help him grow and really help him grow as a player because he's always a really strong individual player, always a really strong lane player, but... Sometimes you just need uh, maybe a good coaching staff, maybe just some really solid teammates that you can trust to really take your play to the next level. All right, well, everybody's definitely looking forward to that marquee matchup tomorrow. Congratulations again on your victory today. It was well fought. Now we're going to pull a broadcaster lane swap, but we'll be right back for the debut of teammates' new AD carry, Nien, in a battle against his former LCS teammates, CLG. Now you won't want to miss it. I no, Pokemon. Dude, I don't know how, but Meowth knew English. What the hell is that? It's a really special Meowth. Meowth knew perfect English. Silver will pop. There comes the Equalizer Santorin and Lustboy low on health and impact. Gonna get himself with the scoreboard again. Rush is the first kill. Dyrus joins in, stuns against the wall. Adrian goes down. A whole ton of kills picked up. Flash the way, summoner heal. Here comes the flash engage, but everyone kicks him back. Still a double kill for Bjergsen. Oh, Turtle's trapped. Pin it, pin it. I have all the five. Can you fight them? I have all. Yeah, no flash. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Yeah, no flash. Rumble. CC nice. on the rumble. Rumble. Nice, nice. Easy. Back, I have all. Milking all the fantasy points there for owners of Team TSM. Azir drops. Everyone's dying now. Impact can't do anything. Still a bit answer back that they can defeat a top four team. But they will do so against Team Impulse here.